Molweni Nanke, Kamalam Dung Amana Makani said, Welcome to Davidson TV. Hashtag we are doing it ourselves. It's hashtag redefining with Amanda Makanisi. I'm trying to get and I'm being there to Diamba Lolinda Chavalala, a very well known arts facilitator. This man was part of a show that was called Bottom Dream in 2015. He worked at the Bucket Theatre and also he was part of a show that was called Not and he was also part of a show that was Wexy and the Hero and he also wrote the famous books and boxes show which was a one man show where he did a wonderful job. Maskama Gelin. Hi Linda. Hello. How are you? I'm very good. Thank Welcome you. to Davidson TV. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, so today we're going to be talking about um, taking art as a profession. Yeah, yeah. Right. So um, the first question that I have for you is why is it important to take art as a profession? Um, it's important to take, to take art as a profession because art um, usually in the people, in the eyes of the mass, mm -hmm. it's like it's known as if it's, uh, it's just entertainment. And it's not like that. It's a way of also making money whereby you find ways of making a life out of art, you know. Mm -hmm. You cannot just take it for an We are also working. We are artists who are people who are doing, who are, who are trying to make life. Yeah. We are trying to do something that is going to put a plate on the table. Amazing. Uh, so why is it important to go to school for it? You know some people take it as ah Italian Kunuma, So why is it important to go to school for it? Do you know I mean do you know those people who are talented, very talented, but they have no like they've got no direction, no control, no skill. Oh, yeah. Like it's someone that you cannot hire because they are not like um artistically disciplined. Mm -hmm. You can see with this person is actually a good artist and they're great, but then this person is not artistically discipline in a way if they can't maybe I was one this car it's simple things Mundo would I understand with many as a good as I was like ah my lentils are shy within a day. Yes was a shy but then we definitely have to work on it practice and so since all they say practice makes perfect. Yes we are not fighting to be perfect but then we actually want to find something that is really watchable, something that is enjoyable, something that we, we can Enjoy it because it's all about entertainment and uh, like if we run off to the end part of it. Amazing. So let's say now there's someone in class who's like looking at you and saying, Wow, I like what you're doing. Now I'm in sevens allow sevens are corner. So what is it that they can study and buy a busy pick on? Um for me because me I'm actually um, a performing artist. So um, if people wanna follow what I do, they can go to like um, theaters. So if people want to follow my career and what I do in the industry of the arts, they should start early and go to watch my shows, familiarize themselves with people who do the arts, know those people. You know, even if they are celebrities, most of them they go to watch my live shows like musical concerts or go to theaters to watch a certain show so that's where you get you get to meet a lot of artists who can help you to go forward and then after metric you you literally go to spaces like Spigua, market theater if you don't really afford going to um the university because sometimes to look to your scores are not good but then you do have more opportunities which you can go to to places like market theater they even introduced new programs whereby there is part-time studies whereby even even people who are not um, who don't have any trip, mm. they can start studying the arts. They are performing arts. They are yeah. market theatre mm. part time. They can also go to spaces like Music Academy of Houghton, like JYO, if you love music. Because all I do mean is uh, things that have to do with a lot of performance, and mostly it's live performances yeah. most of the time. But also, um, I'd love to be on TV. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we never stop learning. I guess the, the message also goes with. You never stop learning. As much as you are talented, you still need to go to school. You still need training. Definitely. Yeah, because you actually, you know, I learned how to unlearn. You know, when I'm learning to unlearn, it's, it's a way for me to kind of. Not to say I'm letting go of what I have learned, but um, I'm giving myself a chance to keep to on learn. to keep on learning. Yeah, you know? it's more like um, I, I I refill my class every day. It's yeah. not full. Yeah. It's never full. I empty it today, and then what I feel like I'm the empty what is it, You know, so I'm always ready for for new things to come. And yeah, I can say I'm a ready artist. Yeah. And you there at home, if you wanna be like me. Gotta be ready. Gotta be ready, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want us also to just dwell into acting, right? Because sure. I know this, you do a lot of things, but you focus more on acting, sure, right? Sure, sure. So let's say I want to be an actor. What are the things that I should do, and what are the things that I shouldn't do once I'm in the industry? I went to school, now I'm in the industry. What is it that I need to do? Um, what you need to do is that you need to read a lot. You know, you need mm -hmm. to read a lot of, you need to, to be able to. 
to know words and you need to kind of be able to flow in terms of speaking to use your voice be able to use your body as an instrument the whole oh, yeah body. even mm -hmm. though they say acting is all about talking and all you know, but mm -hmm. it includes how your physic is mm -hmm. and how you maintain your physic um, so you have to go to gym mm -hmm. stuff like that and work on your vocal cords do some vocal exercises yeah. understand all those weird exercises because <laughs> we do look crazy when we do the vocal exercises yeah. and the acting activities that we do you know so that so there is a lot that has to be done um you have to kind of change a certain things like acting somehow i understand that it teaches you to let go of your your own habits you know whenever you are young and you are you, you gain habits from home from the environment mm -hmm. yeah, well, and then also you are a talented human being so i believe that when you go to acting school they're not literally teaching you how to act but they're actually teaching you how to shape your talent and oh, yeah. you know, so mm -hmm. which is something that not everyone has that's why i'm saying that whenever you are talented and without any skill or any techniques then you are not an, uh, an employable mm -hmm. actor or an employable talented human being because of you don't have the discipline. We're not yeah. talking about discipline or whiskey, or we're talking about discipline. 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 you guys do sure. so let's say now you are given a role that says oh yeah okay. boy or are you scared <laughs> yeah. what is it that you need to do to make sure that you nail the character um if it's okay well mostly it depends also with what style are you using on stage because we have a lot of styles like the physical theater we have um we have realism we've got fictions we've got verbatim you know so um verbatim is one of those let's say when you're the boy yeah. I'd, I'd go maybe say we are doing a verbatim show but okay mm -hmm. i'll go out there in the street mm -hmm. and then the seven i'm shooting to whatever certain part as a young boy I'm shooter with that interesting part and then I go home I watch that video the term means that I copy this person I play this oh, person so you as, need to see that yeah, character I see it and then uh -huh. also I, I practice the voice okay. that he has and then from there I put it away I start becoming that human being I instill all the, the habits that he's got that's why I was talking about which you get rid of your old habits and then okay. you get new habits because of I'm playing a lot of people and then I'm playing things over more people tomorrow I'm a police guy mm. so I need to, to know how to how to how to, to change you know to be versatile how to to play around my body that's why my body I call it an instrument, an instrument. Yeah. yeah taking care of our bodies is very important very important for any film that you work for all right so um, now I've studied I've went for auditions I'm struggling to get a job as an actor what is it that I need to do I know there are agencies out there but do you have any agencies that you recommend maybe um, you know, um, here in South Africa, which is very hard for actors to kind of avail themselves or to 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 be known as other people are known, you know, mm -hmm. because there are those part of um, actors who are called celebrities and all. Yeah. So you know, whenever you have an agent and it's an agent with famous people, all the auditions that you go to, you are always seen as that small person. So it's not easy for you to kind of avail yourself or to be known. You have to be a strong actor and you have to be noticeable that much yeah. in order for you to to ungen and apply and all the auditions. Yeah, I go for. Yeah, so there should be ways whereby you as an artist to become creative. Um, you you start doing your own businesses. You know, mm -hmm. you start finding ways of making money. Um, out of your own talent to you create small things whereby you can kind of change your community or, or you can bring about um, um, growth and whatever that the community is doing and mm -hmm. since when you are an artistic human being you can even start your own new projects mm -hmm. you know sometimes because we, we know Uti, even though we are artists and creative people people who, who create things when you check in the history of the arts or the, 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 the arts context you find Uti, even if you have done a certain monologue or written a certain script, you'd find that with, um, some script back in the days was is actually looking kind of like this one. So mm -hmm. things are kind of reawakening. So yeah. you can look back, read a lot of things as I end Zagala and then remake them, do it your own way so that it can be interesting for the modern time 
and since 2020 and we are um, looking for we are looking for this world where we are living go for industrial so yeah. we are going to you have to find new ways of making your art too whereby probably you are going to start including things like oh, jump this thing lay bouncing we bounce you do stunts and all which is something that South Africans are not used to as, as something that is a, an, an entertainment to watch we are used to watching like choirs um, music concerts but we don't go out to pay 400 and 50 to watch a Shakespearean show mm. you know so if you start your own projects and you meet right people and then you get funding yeah. from funders yeah. that can fund you and then we are getting some yeah I guess yeah and just be open to learn more things as yeah. well yeah, yeah. Sure. all right so how do you maintain yourself as an artist me for me yeah <laughs> in terms of money yeah. in terms of money now yeah. like you need to understand you guys you, you know, being an artist is something permanent, sure. but you hardly get permanent positions. It's always contracts, contracts, contracts. So you find um, artists saying that we do not have money. Sure. And that there's a conversation going on that has been going on for a long time of saying that you need to open up the industry. And artists are like, how do we open up the industry when we are not having anything permanent? You know, so how do you maintain yourself and how do you make sure that you never run out of money? You know, I ask myself most of the time, how can you not have money but you are a creative human being? Mm. So, um, I'm saying artists do have money, they just don't have it literally in their hands, you know, as yet. Like I said, if you are not an available artist and then you are not noticed, you will never make money in the art industry. You have to be known, which is one thing whereby you can get into um, places that are known. And, and also, like I was talking about creativity, you have to be able to create your own things in order for you to get in the industry so that you can make money. So for me, um, how I maintain myself, I am a freelancer. I'm, I'm someone who's there and there and there and there. Okay. You know, the reason I chose to become a freelancer is that I come from a, 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 a theatre background. Okay. You know, so you know, in theatre, it's like you have to to be part of a lot of shows in order for you to maintain yourself. So I started by by volunteering, like I'm um, helping teachers at the market theatre, assist them with maybe vocal work, whereby I become one of the young coaches mm. and you know, so that's how I kind of started and then from there they notice you, they're like, okay, he's actually doing this good, so we can give him an opportunity there and then they started giving me opportunities. They, I, they started noticing that um, I can actually direct and then I directed a show called Honey the Legacy, mm. which um, of which it's an award winning show. We, we won wow. um, a couple of awards, yes, and it was a good, it's a good show. It's still, it's still taking place now. They're even planning to take the show to the international, you know. So it's one, yeah. But I was noticed as as a young person who's just coming in the space to 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 assist. But I was also looking for for work, you know. Yeah. Um, so sometimes yeah. as an artist, you don't go to our um, auditions in order for them to find you. You go to them and you show yourself. So to, you show yourself to them. Yeah. Which this is the kind of a person I am. They never know everything that you yeah. can do. And I guess then, consistency. Yeah, mm -hmm. consistency and also a follow up of things. Yeah. Which, oh, there's a show. It is a team in Google and I so yeah, for me is that thing. I did go to a lot of auditions. They accepted me. Before it was hard because I didn't understand. But as, as time goes on and on and on, I started knowing a lot of places that I have to go to. Now I even had an agency. I want, yeah. So I went to a lot of places and I, I was part of a lot of shows, mm -hmm. different shows. And then because um, I also love teaching, I started availing myself as an artistic facilitator so I'm also a facilitator mm -hmm. whereby I'm facilitating secondary students. Okay. I, I started working with Arts Alive I think um, it was 2015 when I started working with Arts Alive whereby I facilitated secondary um, kids for, for Arts Alive and yeah. then we'd facilitate from January up until September they present the show. So now I'm working with Sibigua Arts um, Academy whereby I'm facilitating unit secondary school. Mm -hmm. Usually it's um, it start from January, February, March, April, May. Okay. They present a show. Mm -hmm. So the um, with um, an artist in schools is that we are helping teachers um, in terms of how they should teach the the, the kids yeah. the art. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you know how hard it is to to incorporate the arts with caps and yeah. let, let me just say the whole the, the, syllabus. The whole syllabus yeah. of caps is quite complicated. Yeah, it's complicated and also for the teachers, mm -hmm. the human beings who are not like um the the. They are not like us, I'm an artist, mm. but it requires a lot of practicals. Like and they've they, never been exposed yeah, to all of those. You know, because they do talk about a lot, I'm um, like, literally they talk about four art forms, which is music, acting, um, 
um, music, acting, visual arts, and also dance. Okay. You know, so all, in these things they all require practical. You know, so if if you, we, you can't do the practicals, then the, the the learners won't understand what you're trying to teach them. So we are there to help teachers how to to approach that. Are you are you saying also that if an artist wants to maintain themselves, they need to be versatile and do quite more jobs. They need to be freelancers. They need to go to different companies and do. As you say, you're going to schools, you're going to theaters, going yeah. to so all of those. You can just do a lot of things within. Yeah. The industry. Yeah, and that's why you saying open up, <laughs> open up the industry. That's why you saying sure, that. Sure, sure. You have to be open um, in order for you, Uti Uazi, and in order for you to to achieve that, mm. you really have to go out. Mm -hmm. You have to travel a lot, you know. So I'm still hoping for Uti Minani even into other provinces and teach other kids because I've been working around Gauteng um, with this project of teaching, and I'm kind of enjoying them. You know? I even decided to become a personal trainer whereby I train people in terms of acting. Because I'm like, okay, I'm really good in terms of training a lot. So why would I just, uh, why would I not share my skills with other people? Qualified as well. Yeah, yeah, and I'm also a qualified facilitator, you know, so um, it would be a nice thing for me to do. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So um, when you teach kids, when you teach other artists um, who are still upcoming, how do you try to emphasize to them the, <laughs> when it comes to discipline in the art and in terms of you can fall as an artist sure. we need to talk about yeah, that yeah, when yeah, you yeah, can sure. fall because sometimes we make it sound like once you are up there we are shala, sure. we are, you know and we've seen a lot of people power so mm -hmm. if you um when you are teaching them do you ever um, teach them about the discipline that they need to have sure. and how will they be able to maintain themselves in those sure. positions and Okay, um, I do try, you know, because it's hard to kind of change how a human being thinks. Mm. But since I'm, um, our process mostly is, especially in terms of acting, is about changing your habits and how you, you do things, you know. So I try to also show them the, the good parts of okay you know whenever you are an actor and and you are you combine your acting world with the personal life somehow you'll never be able to to get into a certain character because of you are too attached to the personal beings or you are an yeah. intrusive human being but you are too attached to yourself yeah. so as someone who's, who's who's a performer you have to be free spirited and also welcoming whereby sometimes even uncomfortable things will be coming your way you will have to accept in a way which this is your work and you have to accept a certain thing and then somehow you start being comfortable in that because you learn to to live in the mannerisms of whatever character that you have you know so i remind them um especially when we have those motivational scripts yeah. um uh, i also try to it's okay this script it motivates you to be this kind of a person whereby mm -hmm. probably the script is about um a human being who wants to change from being a draggy and being a pastor or a better person you know mm -hmm. how the, the changes that are taking place in that character's life those changes they can be um the changes of you as someone who's they can encourage yeah, you as well you know because we do have talented human beings who are who are exposed to um simply they're exposed to drugs wrong yeah. things and you know they've been exposed there so they can't even recognize themselves as, as as talented human beings so they never get to see that so i, I i'm there to show them Muti. You are actually having a good voice. Why don't you use your voice for this and this and this and this and this? You know, I show them what is good from what I see in them, and if we can even go an extra mile, that would be lovely. It would be amazing. Yeah. And I think that's that's an um, that's an environment we need yeah. when we're getting into uh, professions that to be just educated about so many things sure. that can help us. You know, as the emotional aids and also help you. With the Malanzega, and just come back, you know. Yeah, and then uh, what can we expect to see from Uli in the next few <laughs> weeks? Because I know it's still lockdown, but I know you're planning something big. Yeah, sure. Um, um, and like since it was COVID 19, mm -hmm. 2020, we've been locked down. So I've been trying to work on lockdown got talent. <laughs> of it, should something. Yes, for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's that I, I say lockdown got talent because um, we are at home and then people are streaming live. You know? Yeah. So we tried opening up an online radio station. It's a new radio station. 
So we call our radio station Radio 99. Radio 99. Yeah, um, cause you know it goes Radio 9999999. So cause everything is 99999. In the local context, is that this is raw. It's 99. It's clean. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Such stuff. So you should. Relevant content. Thank you very much. Yeah. So. Um, we call our show, um, um, the, the, the radio is Radio 99, mm -hmm. but then our show is called Turn Up on a Friday. Right. So we turn up on a Friday, we play mm -hmm. the we play the local con um, music, mm -hmm. whereby it's the local hip-hop music, house, whatever local human being, mm -hmm. or corner with whatever music that they have, we, we share their music, we play their music. If you are a poet and you want to be known, and then we play your music online. It's an hour show and it's a new project. And then also I'm working on registering my theatre company because I'm planning on having a theatre company. This theatre company, I feel and I believe it's going to help a lot of young artists, especially those who want to do theatre. Yeah. You know, so I'll be working yeah. with a lot of beginners, like I, I've been working with secondary students. So now I'll be pushing more and more and more in terms of helping them to, to recognize their talent and mm -hmm. to grow in that, you know. So it will be a company for beginners who want to do theater. And then other things will keep on coming as time goes on, um, based on my experience. Amazing. You have so much to give back yeah. to the community. You've got so much information, so much knowledge and wisdom. And we actually pray that you, you give back to the community accordingly. Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, can you please um, give us one item of your work <laughs> <laughs> to perform for us okay. before we go? Yeah, sure. Um, do I have to look at the camera? Please do. <laughs> yeah. I've been mean, performing for everyone. <laughs> okay, um, let me just start by greeting everyone at home. Hello everyone at home. Um, my name is Linda Jackson Chabalala, but I prefer you to call me Linda Artist when I do this poem. As a poet, I prefer, like, my stage name is Linda Tist. So this is a poem, a young poem I wrote, it goes, um, Tonight, tonight, I will be swearing facing pages, changing hating pages, healing flipping pages. Mimicking is not even in this time of snapping ages, so I will not be your replica. Competition is not the situation. Continuation is the victorious power in pages. For I, as an artist, I believe I'm a changer, a doer, a maker, a reader, a writer, a musician of love, peace, and happiness. Tonight, I will be a free man, the dentist. <laughs> well, <I'm in. laughs> Thank you very much. Your social media handles? Oh, okay. Um, um, you can find me at um, Linda. Chabalala on Facebook, but I actually changed it recently. It's Linda Tist Chabalala, okay. but it's L I with an L I N D and a capital letter A R okay. T I S T for Linda Tist. Okay. So, because people go like Linda Artist, so you have to just go Linda Tist Chabalala that's on Facebook. Okay. And then you can also find me at Linda Tist um, hyphen. Is it hyphen? Oh, it's a hyphen. It's a hyphen, yeah. Linda Tist hyphen. Um, the latest hyphen productions at in Instagram and then you can call me at 067-152-4378 anything, anytime. Awesome, it was amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for honoring our invitation. Right, my name is Nene guys, the viewers at home. We had a wonderful time with Linda Shabalala. He has told us a lot of things. He gave us information and he brought out his wisdom to us. It's up to you, Utsu and Zani. But if you want to be in the industry, please make sure that you follow him and you can ask for advices and you can go to attend one of his classes and be part of the kids that he will be teaching. And from me to you, it, it was a, an amazing show. Thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Hashtag redefining with Amanda Makanisi and hashtag Davidson TV. We are doing it ourselves. See you next time. <laughs>